Welcome back, carnivores. You got me, JT, my son, William. We're making a Bill Nye inspired recipe, bacon wrapped steak fingers. Let's go! Uh -oh. Let's go! We're gonna need a nice ribeye. We got a boneless ribeye here. It was on sale too, so that's amazing. Uh, we got some bacon. We got some Redmond's Real Salt and we got some butter. That's what we're gonna need. Now, uh, you can get a, a steak here with bone, but you just gotta be careful when you're cutting it. Make sure you don't cut no bones into your steak fingers, but uh, it's probably easier to just get the boneless ribeye. We like the Redmond's Real Salt because there's no sugar or junk in there, so that's why we picked that. Um, you could really go with any butter, but I prefer to be salted, some salted butter. We usually have Carrie's Gold because that's usually what's on sale at our local Piggly Wiggly. And we got the thick cut bacon because I wanted a little bit thicker bacon with these steak fingers instead of some thin um, slices. I want a little bit thicker, so it's up to you. You want to get regular thick, or I mean regular or thick cut bacon, that's up to you. But we chose the thick for this recipe, right? Thick bacon? If you want the longer fingers, you gotta cut it the longer way. You want shorter steak fingers, cut the short way. Real simple, okay? Uh, but I asked my wife, she wants the long steak fingers, so we're gonna cut the long way. I have my steak fingers, so to say. Nice cut strips here. And a couple little small chunks came off, but we can always wrap those individually. That's no problem. Time to open the bacon. Oh, all right. Take a piece and let's start wrapping it up. There we go. We have one ribeye steak finger, bacon wrapped steak finger. Man, that thick cut bacon, that is awesome. Like when it's almost just as thick as the steak finger you're wrapping, you know that's gonna be a really good steak finger. Man, that is good. I know, I'm excited. Bill Not, shout out to you, buddy, for putting me onto this, man. Wow. Look at that. Another bacon wrapped steak finger. Now, you guys can use toothpicks if you'd like, uh, but I, I don't really think you'll need them. The bacon is really, it's got like that almost like stickiness from it from the fat. So I think. If you wrap it just right, it's gonna be just fine. Another half a piece for one of these little ribeye squares, little ribeye chunks, little chunks of ribeye and fat. Look at that, man. Wait till this is wrapped in bacon. Gosh. Hmm. Making me hungry. Yo, know, Bill Knott's newest video, I'll link it in the description. It's such a wonderful video. Bill is just such a great guy and he's he's seeing it through to the other end and he's making all these big changes and I'm just so proud of him and he's such a great cook and there's just so much value in all his videos so um, this would be something I thought would be fun to do with uh, my son William and my wife Anna and have on the channel here and dedicate it to Bill and um, hopefully get more people making these bacon wrapped steak fingers that uh, Bill Knott inspired. Bill Knott from Alaska. Shout out to you, buddy. We absolutely love you and we love your ideas and everything you give back to the community. And these bacon wrapped steak fingers are definitely one of those things that uh, it's priceless, man. You give us so much and I appreciate it. So now 
let's put these in. Um, I'm, I do want to salt them just a little bit. Good idea to flip them. Now, if you're wondering, one ribeye steak almost took care of an entire package of bacon. I have two pieces left. Uh, we're going to put these in a Ziploc and save them for breakfast tomorrow. Or maybe even throw them in the, the air fryer. But um, it, if, you're, if you need to know one ribeye steak and one package of bacon, and you're probably going to be just right. So let's get the air fryer set, right? All right, now it's time for us to throw these bad boy steak fingers into the, our new bad boy air fryer. Yes, it's a bad boy air fryer. It's not the official brand, it's just, man, it's such a bad boy the way it cooks all this stuff. So we're gonna put that in there, shut the door. We've got it set to 300 for 15 minutes. Boom. Get a get a shot of those things in there. Look at, the, look, look at that in there, guys. Look at that. Let's go! Just so you know, you could put these in the air fryer. You could fry them up on an iron skillet, or you could just put them in your oven here. So however you guys want to make your bacon wrapped steak fingers, that's okay. Just get the job done so you guys can eat some steak fingers. All right, you guys, the first 15 minutes has gone by, but they still need more cooking. So we're going to start it back up and do another 15 minutes and check them then. Yeah, I'm gonna check them out. Uh, they're getting there, but they're not there yet, so we're gonna set this for another 15 minutes. All right, now it is time to paint these things with some butter. Take a chunk like that. We're gonna melt this in the microwave and then we'll paint it on with a little painty brush. And we are cooking these things for the Packers playoff game. I've Woo! Got my go Pack, go Packers. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! All right. Show a look at these things wow. in there. Wow. Look at that, you guys. It looks beautiful. Mm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sorry. <laughs> I got caught up in the in the moment. Put that there. Okay, you guys. Now. We're at the point where we're gonna paint these things with the butter before we eat them. You're on the carnivore diet. Butter is very, very important. You need your fat. We'll have a little butter to clean up off the table, but that's not a big deal. That's okay. Not for a good meal, right? Right. I got you the tongue so you didn't have to use your fingers. That's okay. <laughs> oh man, they look so good. Don't they? Yes, now these aren't quite done yet. Um, but I'd say when they're about 90% done, that's when I like to put on my butter. I don't want to dry too much of it out. We're going to put these back in just to give them a... a crisp up with the, the butter on them. All right, we're in the home stretch, let's go. The bacon wrapped steak fingers came out so perfectly in our new air fryer. Each one was just perfectly crisp yet still juicy. I absolutely love this recipe by Bill Knott. I did decide to use up the rest of our butter and I painted the bacon wrapped steak fingers again with the butter and just topped them off with that extra bit of butter, so good. And of course, as a carnivore, I could not resist the temptation to add a little bit more Redmond's Real Salt to these things. Take a moment and admire how good these bacon wrapped steak fingers look with that painted on butter. It literally melts in your mouth. The bacon and the steak all together just melts in your mouth. My wife, Anna, she absolutely loved these bacon wrapped steak fingers, Bill. So shout out to you. And we even gave some to William. He was a big, huge fan. He came up and took it right out of her hands right away. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, throw us a comment, watch another video from our carnivore recipe series playlist right here.